Welcome to the Lecturio Podcast. We understand that medical or nursing school can be challenging, but you don't have to go through it alone. Our goal is to bring you key medical and nursing topics in easy to digest bite-sized episodes so you can keep learning on the go. In today's episode, we'll be diving into cranial nerves. Let's get started. Ever wonder how your brain communicates with the rest of your body? That's what we'll explore today. And I'm excited because cranial nerves make an intriguing topic, even if you haven't heard of them before. These are 12 pairs of nerves that originate from the brain, not the spinal cord as many other nerves do. Exactly. And these nerves control such a fascinating array of functions from seeing and smelling to facial expressions and even digestion. Each nerve has a unique duty. To help us understand, let's dive into each of these 12 nerves, break them down one by one, and maybe apply them to the tunes of real-world situations. Starting with the olfactory nerve, cranial nerve 1. This little old guy is what gives us our sense of smell. Think of it as having a direct hotline from your nose to your brain. Yes, and moving on to the optic nerve, or cranial nerve 2, responsible for sight. It's like your brain's CCTV, transmitting what your eyes perceive into visual information you can understand. Then we have the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve 3. This is involved with most movements of the eye and that all-important ability to react to light changes. It takes teamwork with the trochlear nerve, CN4, and the abducens nerve, CN6, to keep your eyes moving smoothly. Imagine three friends working together to expertly steer a ship. Right, and the trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve, phi, plays a part in facial sensations like touch and pain and even helps with mastication or chewing. It's like the brain's relay with the face. It carries all those important sensory and motor signals. Next, the facial nerve, 7, is in charge of facial expressions. Want to smile or frown? Thank your facial nerve. It's also responsible for some taste sensations. Moving right along, the vestibulocochlear nerve, cranial nerve 8, is all about hearing and balance. Picture it as the brain's inner ear symphony conductor. And then there's the glossopharyngeal nerve, CN9. This nerve is partly involved in taste and swallowing, the brain's connection to savoring and safely digesting foods. The vagus nerve, CN10, takes on many tasks, from controlling part of the heart and digestion-related activities to influencing speech and keeping your digestive tract moving efficiently. It's also key to aiding how we swallow. Speaking of which, let's not forget the accessory nerve, CN11, controlling movements in your head and shoulders. Lastly, the hypoglossal nerve, CN12, is all about tongue movement. It's what allows you to articulate words clearly and move food around while chewing. That's a lot to remember, isn't it? But hey, there's a handy mnemonic to keep these nerves straight. The classic one goes, On old Olympus's towering top, a Finn and German viewed some hops. Each initial sound helps you remember the nerve. And here's another one. Only one of the two athletes felt very good, victorious, and healthy. And an easy way to recall which nerves are sensory, motor, or both is by using some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matter more. Awesome. Now, let's talk about the real-world applications. Assessment. In nursing and medicine, tests for these nerves are critical for diagnosing many conditions. Definitely. Take cyanoin olfactory, for example. To assess, a nurse might ask a patient to identify various smells. It's a straightforward test but can point to underlying issues. And with the optic nerve, tests like the Snellen chart help judge visual acuity. Meanwhile, for the oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens nerves, checking eye movements by having a patient follow a finger in an H pattern is common. In practice, issues like nerve dysfunction can lead to significant impacts on daily life. That's where nurses come in, helping patients manage difficulties like swallowing, providing safety measures for balance problems, and offering emotional support. It's remarkable how interwoven these functions are in our daily experiences and the crucial role healthcare providers play in identifying and managing conditions related to them. To wrap up, the cranial nerves are central to so many aspects of human function, from feeling and moving to tasting and hearing. Their proper assessment and understanding are essential, particularly in fields like nursing, where comprehensive care is paramount. I agree. Join us next time as we delve further into the intricate world of the human body. Until then, keep your neurons firing and stay curious.
If you're looking for extra support during your healthcare journey, Lecturio is here to help you succeed. Explore Lecturio Premium and start your seven day free trial today. Remember, with Lecturio, you have expert guidance by your side, anywhere, anytime.